We have a problem with a 700R4, and this is in a 1984 Chevy van with a diesel engine, and we're having problems with pressure rise. So this right here is where we're getting our mainline pressure. Our mainline pressure is going up to the gauge, which is the yellow gauge right there. It's sitting at zero. The other gauge that we also are running is cooler flow, and that tells us how much cooler flow we get and usually that's around one and a half to two. So what we're going to do, the problem we've had with this vehicle is that we do not have pressure rise. So we went with a different transmission, transferred parts from another unit, and we still have pressure rise issues. And today's date? So today is March 3rd of 2000. March 5th. March 5th. 2013 and what I'm going to do I'm going to start this up and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of pressure rise we get on this transmission that we've rebuilt. We replace the pump, we change the valve body, change the separator plate, put in a Corvette servo. This right here is where we are working the throttle pressure. This is one of the most critical adjustments on a 700 transmission. If this isn't set up right it will burn the transmission up. So we're going to start this up, and then that way we can get it all. I'll show you what she's doing. Okay, we have it running. Our cooler flow is sitting at one gallon per minute, which is okay. Our gauge is at almost 80 PSI, maybe 85 PSI in part. So we have a little bit of an idle. I'm going to go ahead and pull on the throttle cable. We have oil leaking out here. Now we know we're full of fluid, so I'm going to shut that down. So when I pull on the throttle cable, we're at 85. I'm pulling very gently. It's climbing to 90. Now it just climbed to 110, now it just climbed to 130, now 150, 160, 170, so max I'm at 200 PSI. So 200 PSI is something I was never able to accomplish with the van, with the transmission of the van, because of the throttle cable setup and the geometry of that. So I will show you the pressure readings I was getting in the van. So in the van, I was getting the 85 PSI. I did a max throttle acceleration holding the brake, stall testing the unit, and this was all that I got for an increase in pressure. It went up to 110 PSI. So 110 PSI is not enough to hold the clutches and the transmission will burn up. The failure we had is that we had lost second and fourth gear band. So here's reverse. So we're in reverse. Our pressure reading is at 140. Now I'm going to pull on our cable and see what we got for pressure rise. You can see the rise is much faster. We're at 200, we're at 250, we're at 300. So that's in reverse, stalling it probably about 1200 to 1600 RPM. So there we go. So now I'm going to go to neutral. So our pressure fell down. We have no load and that's what we're up against. So there's neutral. We're at 85. 150. 200. 200 is max. So here's drive position. Drive position is 85. 110, 120, 140, 150, 160, 180, 200. 200 in the overdrive position on max throttle. Backing that out a little bit, you can see how nice the needle flows. With the transmission in the van, my pressure was 150, and then after that, it only went up to like 170, 180. I never got the max throttle that I needed to get. That was in the overdrive range, not reverse, I'm sorry.
That's third third gear, same thing, 85, max 200. Second gear, second gear went up to 200 on its own. So we're getting throttle boost. Now if I go ahead and max pressure, we're right at 200. Not moving a little at all. We're gonna go to low. So now that we're in low range, give it pressure, it's at 200. So it's not changing. A little bit of a fluctuative down. Okay. So I'm gonna run it up. So here we got first gear. Got high pressure. Shift it into second gear. I'm gonna pull on the cable a little bit. No difference in pressure. Third gear, see our pressure dropped down. With no load, we're at 85. Now if I give it more throttle, now we're up to 140, 150. That holds better than 85. Now we're gonna go into fourth. Now I went into fourth gear at 140, but we're never able to get to those measurements. If I let up on the throttle, now I have very little holding power at 85 PSI. Max, downshifts into third gear, upshifts into overdrive. Okay, so that is the conclusion of our readings.